Hello everybody, James Teacher here from Juul, and I just finished teaching my lesson to, to four amazing students who are just the best. And I wanted to make a little video to introduce our polymath program, what it is and, and what did I want to make when I made the program. I've been so lucky to have met so many amazing kids over the years, and these kids were just astonishingly intelligent, incredibly creative. But I never really felt that I was given the right curriculum or program or, or concept to teach these kids. So when I found a jewel, I decided to make my own. Um, I took everything that I loved and all, got rid of all the things I hated with stress and anxiety and, and boring learning. And then I put everything into a, a package that I wanted to teach um, and gave that to the kids. Because I always felt that kids were just a little bit bored in class and they were a little bit bored, stiff by the materials they were given and the things they were asked and the things, the projects they were asked to do. So I decided, okay, when I make a polymath program, it should mean no restricted learning. It shouldn't be closed with a lack of critical thinking because critical thinking is so important. And it also should be international. It should be a global idea. We should be learning and teaching things that exist in the world, not just in our little pocket of the world. Most importantly, it should be something that kids find inspiring. We should be talking about big ideas and hugely important people. So that's what I decided to do, to make a course that does all of those things. And well, nobody else was doing it. So I thought, okay, I should do it. And that's how Jewel started. And that's how all of the Jewel courses were made. I sat down and made them because I wanted the kids to be inspired by every page, if possible. And I wanted to give our teachers something to teach that they find inspiring and fascinating and, and, and great. So the polymath program uh, has three objectives, I think. It, the first objective is to give responsibility for learning to the student, to the child. That's a huge thing. From the very first moment when they sit down, we ask questions, we teach them how to give paragraph answers. So if you're asked, why do wars start? It's not just, oh, war starts because people are unhappy. The students should be able to give long, academic, fully explained answers. The second thing is about the expectation. The expectation should be huge. It should be massive and it should be so far beyond everything else in the world because one of the core ideas of Jewel was, well, it should be three years ahead of international schools, which is why we introduce ideas about economics and about advanced science, about philosophy, uh, very, very early in the book. The third thing uh, was this idea of studying thematically rather than studying in an isolated way. So when you study climate change, we don't just study climate change from a scientific perspective. We study it from a political perspective, from an economic perspective, from a technological perspective. You put all of those things together and you come out knowing the full scope of an idea rather than just small sections or one side or the other. Ooh, the big question is, is the polymath program right for your child? And it's important to say that it might not be. It's not right for everybody because it's very, very, very challenging. It's very, very, very difficult. The expectations are very, very high from the first page and in every single dual class. It might be too difficult, it might be too challenging, but we're proud of this idea of taking education beyond where people think it can be. We wanna go here. And I think another thing to say about that is Jewel is not like every other school. We're very, very progressive and we're trying to build something for the future. We're not looking backwards or looking at right now. We're trying to create students who can tackle the problems 20 years later. We're trying to think like Google engineers and solve problems. And every single book and every single class has a huge, huge emphasis on problem solving. What happens if you take a polymath course at Jewel, one of the, the many books and course books that I made? Well, you can talk about advanced vocabulary and you can talk about grammatically perfect sentences, but blah, 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 that stuff is standard. It's kind of average. We, we, we're thinking beyond that. So what we're talking about is something beyond that level of learning. We're talking about creating problem solvers. We're talking about creating leaders, 
who can stand up and give us a, a presentation, a speech to an audience about something very difficult and really effectively explain difficult things. And above all else, we're trying to create polymaths. That's why it's called the polymath program, because we're trying to create people who can talk about economics, can talk about philosophy, can talk about psychology, can talk about science. They can talk about all of those things in the same conversation. And they can be experts in all of those things and understand the world better because they understand how all of these ideas fit together.